hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, today we are going to do a data analysis project on call volume trend analysis okay so basically uh, first we'll understand what is call volume trend analysis and then uh, we'll uh, have a look on raw data and there are some questions here that is just the four questions so we'll try to solve them okay so what is uh, call volume trend analysis so basically it deals with the uh, call center something like that so uh, what does it say so it says like in a customer experience team there is a huge employment opportunities for a customer service representative aka call center okay so customer service agents oh, okay so call center agents or customer service agents okay so some of the roles for them include uh, email support then inbound support outbound support and social media support so, okay so inbound customer support is defined as the call center which is responsible for handling inbound calls of customers that means if you have any problems with respect to any things like for example if you order something from flipkart and uh, whatever item you got delivered is wrong then you call a customer care center right something like that okay so uh, and the whole person so also query uh, that is known as customer care taker okay so inbound calls are the incoming voice calls of the existing customers that means you are existing customer of the flipkart okay or prospective customers for a business which are attended by customer care representatives then inbound customer service is the methodology by attracting of attracting engaging and delighting your customers to turn them into your business that means uh, you want to retain those customers so that your business booms okay and uh, loyal advocates okay by solving your customer problems and helping them achieve success using your product or service you can delight your customers and turn them into a growth engine for a business okay so everything deals with the business so whatever you are studying uh, that means whatever data analysis you are going to study so you want to get into job that deals with data analysis and earn some bucks right so in the end uh, everything is for money okay so we will have a look on data here first of all so here is the agent name that means whatever agent is handling then agent id then customer phone number that means the phone number of the customers and the queue time queue time is nothing but uh, the time uh, they have been uh, waiting that means if you are calling a customer care center uh, how much time does it take to pick them a call okay and date and time then time so then there is a time bucket so this is a very important column because yeah uh, time bucket is nothing but 9 to 10 then 10 to 11 like that okay then duration this is in hours and they have converted in seconds okay for example this is one hour 36 minutes so if you convert it into uh, total minutes then it will become 60 plus 30 is 90 and 96 minutes okay then call status so basically there are uh, uh, three statuses that is abandon answered and transfer so answered is nothing but your call was picked up by the customer care representative abandoned is nothing but your call was disconnected or cut okay transfer means uh, either the customer care representative has transferred your query to a higher representative or something like that okay so these are the three call statuses then wrapped by okay so whether your call was wrapped up by agent or it was auto wrapped that means uh, in the end they say thank you for calling customer care right so whether it was saved by agent or uh, everything was handled by bot something like that okay then ringing yes then IVA duration is nothing but uh, interactive voice response duration okay so this is the entire data set now uh, we will have a look on the questions here okay so what is the first question uh, so first question is calculate the average call time duration for all incoming calls received by agents okay in each time bucket okay so first of all what we'll do is we'll copy the entire data set okay so that whatever changes we do uh, does not get hampered okay so we have copied this so we'll rename it so what will that set one okay let's copy let's write copied data okay now what we'll do uh, uh, we will uh, consider the entire uh, data set here and we will insert a start doing it by pivot table okay so first you need to select control a and then you can go to insert and then it on pivot table then it will ask for uh, ask you to option that is new worksheet or existing worksheet so use new worksheet uh, if you want to get the data in or the answer in new worksheet 
existing worksheet it means it will take uh, the pivot table in the existing worksheet wherever the space is available or, or you can also give the location here okay so i will go with new worksheet okay so in this way uh, you will get the new worksheet okay so first i will rename this as one that means first question okay and then i will replace it to here okay so that we have questions and then answer okay so what was the question here so we want to calculate the average call duration for all incoming calls okay so average call duration for time bucket so we need time bucket from here so whatever columns are there in the data set will be available here and here there are filters then columns then rows and values okay so i will take time bucket here okay and then seconds that means uh, average call duration so call of seconds here so when i drag the call of seconds here uh, you get sum of all seconds okay so we don't want that so just on the arrow here click and then you will get a value field settings click on that and then you can select average here, okay and then click okay now this is the average for all calls okay that is abandoned answered and transferred so what we need is uh, we can take call status here and then we'll click on answer because rest all we need not need okay so this is the first answer of your question that means what is the average call seconds in the time packet that is 9 to 10 that is 199 then 22 oh, sorry 28 to 9 years to 202 something like that okay so average is 198.62 okay so the second question so what is okay so they have asked show the total volume total volume by number of calls coming in wire charts okay that means we want to get the number of calls versus time in graph okay so we will go to raw data then we will select all raw data then insert same pivot table and new worksheet okay now this sheet i will replace it in here i'll renumber it to question two okay now what we want is uh, we want same time bucket here okay and then uh, we want uh, the count right so that means we can get the phone numbers here okay so basically we will get the count of phone numbers okay so if you want that means uh, we want how many of uh, so you can see your question uh, number of calls that means total number of calls we are getting okay so if i drag the uh, phone numbers here so phone numbers are distinct anyways so there are total number of phone numbers that means total number of calls we have got okay and so if you want to get it in percentage then we can take uh what we can take we can take time count of time also that means uh okay so here you can see it is sum okay so we don't want that so what we'll do is go to count okay so we won't count so i took this uh another extra column because i want to convert it into percentage as you can see the number is same that means uh, these are the number of times the customer has called okay so i will go to count of time here and then in value field settings here you can see another value uh, option here show value as i will take it as grand total we will get the percentage with respect to the each row that means if from 9 to 10 bucket uh, we have 8.13 percent of overall calls okay okay so now they uh, asked us to represent it via uh, graph or chart okay so what i will do is I will copy this from here control C and I will paste it here control V but I will paste it at values okay so uh, if you paste it by values uh, you can represent it directly for uh, in the form of graph okay but if you take this then uh, some things will be jumbled up okay so that's why I copied it so now uh, I will choose this and okay uh, let's choose entire this okay let's convert this to percentage first yeah so now it has been converted to percentage so that you can get the chart in the form of percentage also so once you select this then you can go to insert and charts here as you can see the chart is already available so just click on okay so this is the first chart that is count of customer phone number or oh, sorry control z okay and what what we got is the time bucket okay so you can also sort this time bucket from ascending to descending or whatever you feel like okay but uh the, these are the number of calls and this is the time bucket. okay now uh, i want the uh, graph in the form of this also percentage okay so i will select this and then control 
and select this one okay then go to insert again and click on charts okay so here also there is another option all charts you can select any one of the chart whatever whichever you feel like there is pie chart then there is area chart then is there is bar chart there is horizontal bar chart okay so i'll go with column chart but i will take this okay you can also take this and i will take this and click on okay okay so this is another form uh, in which percentage are represented and the time bucket is given mentioned below okay so you can place it here okay and you can also give the chart title here okay so if i double click here you can uh, you can give count of sorry count of calls okay versus percentage okay that is that's it okay so you can also uh, like edit this so you have uh, options here like that that means you want you don't want time to 11 time bracket then it will uh, not be available or if you want to visible uh, get only uh, this bucket then you can uh, just ignore all then you can select only one and then you can click on apply so you will get only 10 to 11 bucket okay so for now i will select everything because i want everything and then there are other filter options also like names you can uh, change the name from uh, axis okay there are other options also that is exist title is there that is count of time then chart title is there and then data labels is there that means you get label directly on the percentage then data table is there then error bars are there and then grid lines are there which you can ignore then trend line also is there okay so trend line it specifically asks for which trend line you want okay so you can explore these things but for now uh, I will keep this graph as it is okay so this is how you can uh, give the answer for the second question that is uh, total, total number of calls uh, with respect to the uh, time bucket okay also I have calculated in the form of percentage so let's go to the third question okay so third and fourth question are uh, related in a way okay so first we will read the third question so as you can see the current abundant rate is approximately 30 percent okay so propose a manpower plan required during each time bucket between 9 to 9 pm to reduce the amount rate to 10 percent okay that means uh, you want to answer the calls that means uh, you don't want to abandon the calls okay so total overall the uh, whatever customer caretakers answer the call should be 90 percent that is what we want to do okay that means we want to reduce the abundant rate okay so for that what we'll do is we will go to raw data here and then uh, i have selected everything but let's select it again and go to insert then pivot table and no worksheet here okay so both third and fourth question i will solve it in one sheet itself okay so that uh, okay i will sort in different different sheets okay so third question so what they have asked is uh, first we'll try to calculate the abundant rate okay so for these things uh, we need a uh, date and time here first of all that means uh, everything will be there here i did not drag it okay it's not responding just wait a second guys give it some time what happened bro why it is not responding i should have saved it i will the data will be lost yeah sorry yeah so it was not responding but now it responded so basically i i uh, took the date and time column in rows and then in case of values i will take the duration that is in minutes okay and then call status in columns okay so that will get abundant answer transfer and grant out okay so that's all we need to calculate on the percentage okay so here you can see uh, there are abundant calls with respect to the monthly base and then answer then transport and then grant total okay so on 1st january 4644 calls were received okay so let's calculate the average of abundant here okay so is equal to then we will write average then we will select from here to here 
you know, close the bracket and enter okay now let's go and do this for everything so we'll get everything in the form of this now we don't want the decimal places here okay so what we will do we will take this yeah so this is how it is done okay so uh, first of all let's calculate the percentage of abundant calls okay so these are the total calls and these are the abundant calls okay so it is equal to then select this and divided by the total number of calls it enter that is 0 0.29 and then this okay so for this we need again need to select this and enter and for this we need to select again this and okay so let's convert this to percentage yeah so uh, as you can see uh, there are 29 percent of abundant calls and 70 percent of calls were answered and then one percent were transferred okay so our question is to reduce the abundant rate to 10 percent okay that means uh, we want this 30 to be 10 percent and this to be 90 percent okay so for that what we need is uh, we need to calculate the average uh, working hours of the customers so here there is an assumption here uh, uh, an agent works six days a week on an average total and planned leaves per agent is four days okay a month then agent is uh, working hour is nine hours out of which 1.5 hours goes into lunch and snacks with the office okay so on an average an agent is occupied uh, for 60 percent of his total actual working hours that means we need to calculate 60 percent of 7.5 okay so that will calculate for us so total number of working hours so uh, let's calculate working hours per agent that is is equal to 60 divided by 100 sorry no okay let's do this divided by 100 into 7.5 that is 4.5 hours okay the day that means in a day or oh, an agent works for 4.5 hours in answering the calls okay on an average so uh, this is uh, this and then from sheet one uh, sorry the first question the average call duration is 198 right 198.62 let's take that so average Call duration is 198.62. Okay, so these are the things we need here. Okay, so now what we will do is we will calculate. Uh, so let's what's the question? Okay, we will try to reduce the abundant rate. Okay, so for that we need to calculate the uh, how many hours we need to calculate this. That means uh, uh, how many total number of working hours are needed to answer. Uh, 90 percent okay so for that what we'll do is so to convert this 90 percent what we need to do is is equal to we need to select all the calls okay into the average time to answer into we need to convert it into 90 percent so 0.9 and divided by uh, i need to convert this is in seconds right so i need to convert it into minutes or you can say hours okay so these are the total number of working hours needed to convert uh, all the uh, calls to 90 percent that means to convert the uh, answering rate to 90 percent these are the total number of working hours needed okay 254.72 okay so for 90 percent hours needed okay so total number of uh, number of agents needed is simple right that is 254 divided by number of hours and so let's round this up that is 57 okay so these are the number of agents needed to convert uh, the answering rate from 70 to 90 percent or to reduce the abundant rate from 20 uh, 30 to 10 okay total number of agents needed okay 
so now there is a continuation for this question okay same question now let's say customers also call this abc insurance company in night but didn't get answer as there are no agents to answer so this creates bad customer experience for this insurance company suppose every 100 calls that customer made during 9 am to 9 pm customer also made 30 calls in the night between interval 9 pm to 9 am and distribution for those 30 calls are as below okay that means they had given one distribution okay so basically it is uh, for uh, suppose for every uh, every 100 calls that customer made during 9 am to 9 pm customer also made 30 calls in the night between interval uh, 9 pm to 9 am that means it is 30 percent of overall calls between 9 am to 9 pm okay so that is what we need to calculate so total number of calls in the night on an average is that will calculate uh, so average number of calls in the night is that is 30 percent right so 0.3 into this that is 1538 okay so now we need to go in the same way that is 1539 okay now we need to calculate how much uh, this is needed uh, what is needed how many agents are needed to answer these calls okay so for that what we need to do is again uh, so we need to uh, calculate for uh, we need to answer this in 90 percent right so uh, to increase call rate to 90 percent in night okay so let's wrap text we need is equal to so this that is average call duration and then this 1539 then we need to convert it to 0 0.9 that is 90 percent and divided by 3600 okay so this is the average number of hours needed that is total number of hours needed okay now total uh, number of agents needed number of agents needed in night that is equal to 76 divided by 4.5 and that is 17 okay so to increase uh, the call rate uh, in a night that is from uh, so basically there are two uh, time buckets from 9 am to 9 pm and from 9 pm to 9 am okay so total number of agents needed uh, that is 57 okay for this time bucket to increase the efficiency to 90 percent and from 9 pm to 9 am it is 17 to increase the efficiency to 90 percent now overall is okay overall uh, agents needed is this Fifty seven plus seventeen that is seventy four. Overall total agents needed is let's wrap text or oh, you can increase this. Okay. So this is our answer, final answer with respect to I need to paint. Sorry, let's keep it black and let's paint it red. Okay, so as you can see, to increase the answering rate to 90%, uh, we need 57 for the time bucket of 9 am to 9 pm, that is in the morning time period, and in the night, we need 17. So, total uh, agents needed is 74 to increase the answering rate to 90%. Okay. So this was all the answers uh, with respect to the questions they had asked. Okay, so some things even I did not understood, but I have tried to make you understand. Okay, so if you get any doubts, do comment. And if you understood and learned something from this video, do hit the subscribe button. Until then, take care. Bye bye.